Caring for giants at Disney's Animal Kingdom. How often do you go to Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida and see this at the entrance of one of the four theme parks? And then once inside, how often do you see this? Well, what about this that is just to the left of the Kilimanjaro Safari's attraction? Do you ever wonder what that's all about? Hi, it's Dan from Nancy and Dan Travel. In today's video, we cover one of the unique things to do in Disney World and more specifically, one of the unique things to do in Disney's Animal Kingdom. Specifically, the Caring for Giants Elephant Tour, which has one stop, that being to see close up the elephants from a behind the scenes viewpoint. If you are looking for something unique to do at Disney World, the Caring for Giants Elephants Tour should be on your short list. Nancy and I have wanted to do this for quite some time, yet each time we went to make a reservation for it, it was sold out. During our January 2024 trip to Walt Disney World, we just lucked out in that there was availability for the 10 a.m. slot. We grabbed it. It costs all of $39 per person and has been the best $39 we've ever spent at Disney World. These are the name tags for each of us. There were about 10 participants in total. Dominic, our cast member, was fantastic, so knowledgeable about anything to do with elephants and these majestic Disney African elephants in particular. The first part of the tour was a short ride in a van out to the viewing area, which per usual Disney policy, we were not permitted to film as it was in the cast members only area. During this short ride, however, we got to see little, yes, I know little is all relative, but little baby Cora, the newest member of the elephants at Animal Kingdom. She was in a private pen with her mom and grandma. She was so cute and only a month old. We are going to include the background noise in most of our videos as Dominic was so informative. Yet, it was a little hard to hear from our vantage point with the camera, so you may wish to turn up the volume to hear Dominic better. For example, take particular notice in a moment of how this elephant, Basha, has only one tusk because her right, our left, tusk developed an infection down to the root, so it had to be pulled. This is one example of the very interesting information that Dominic shared with us. Also about Basha, notice that when she eats, she has the habit of placing food gathered from the tip of her trunk into her mouth, not once, not twice, but three times, and only then will she chew and swallow. Um, but yes, like I said, it is uh, um, all that breeding is based off recommendations. So we Mac was not. This compares to Kianga, who has the habit of twirling her food gathered by the tip of her trunk before she places it in her mouth to be chewed and swallowed. Dominic told us that Kianga picked up this habit by seeing her mom do this, pinching at the tip of her trunk as she gathered her food. Fascinating, just fascinating. And yes, you do see in the background the transport trucks from the Kilimanjaro Safaris ride. As Dominic stated at the start of the tour, it is totally up to the elephants how close they come to the viewing area or how far they stay to themselves. In our case, they did not venture too close to us, yet it was still breathtaking. If you are enjoying this Caring for Giants Elephants tour, We'd appreciate if you could please give our video a thumbs up to let others know they may enjoy this video as well. And if you've not already done so, please do subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified when future videos of ours are published, one or two a week. Thank you very much. It helps us out a lot. As well, don't forget to browse our catalog of well over a hundred and growing videos on tips and ideas and suggestions for you on your travels to Walt Disney World on cruises and even in Western Europe, as you can see some of what we've learned on our journey. Surrounded by that chain, that like that fencing, that like mesh, because they are protected here in Florida. So these are sandhill oak trees, and they're protected species here in Florida. So the safari is actually younger than those trees that are out there. So we want to make sure we keep them intact. So put Mac out there, you're not going down. If you are watching this video on your smartphone, you may want to watch it again on your television to get more perspective with the wide screen.
that we don't need to breed him anymore. We, he has mm -hmm. enough kids. We also learn from Dominic that Disney intentionally well places the large rocks in front of and around the trees in the elephant area to prevent them from knocking them down. But when he was here, he did have three kiddos. Kianga, Najira, and one of our males, Sabo. Yes, so they all, they all look pretty similar to each other because those Jackson jeans are very strong. Oh, is he, was he in... Over there. Over there? Probably. Now, as I say, that probably was him. Um, if he looked, if, if he looked like a very... And yes, elephant. this is what you yeah, think it is. Yeah. It is elephant dung. Or elephant poop, if you will. Notice the large amount of hay consumed by the elephant that is not digested. The elephant dung is therefore used to create many things. For example, the paper that our name tags were written on were 80% recycled elephant dung. Amazing. As mentioned, this was the best $39 each we ever spent at Walt Disney World. We highly recommend the Caring for Giants Elephant Tour, 60 minutes long at Disney's Animal Kingdom. For sure, what are the unique things you can do at Walt Disney World? Nancy and I hope you enjoyed this video. Here are two more videos of our travel adventures to watch. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And lastly, my email is in the description below. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.